Oh my God, finally. <laughs> Hi guys. I wish you guys knew what I've just been through. <laughs> I'm so dead. Okay, so wait for a couple of people to come on before starting. Because I realize I'm late. I hate being late. And I just feel like five minutes and if someone's waiting, it's just so rude. But um, anyway, I have questions this time. I'm more organized. And uh, I'm going to go on my YouTube so that um, I can see the chat. Because last time I couldn't. So I'm going to so mute this though. Uh, okay, here we go. So anyway. Welcome to another live. I'm going to do these a lot more frequently, but a little bit of like a house, like not rules, but like caretaking or whatever. Um, so from now on, I'll do one live on YouTube a month because I feel like that's what I can commit to. Then uh, Patreon, which I finally have. There's no content up yet, but a lot of people have been asking about how they can get like one-on-one -on -one meetings and get advice and whatever. Um, get contacts, whatever it may be in terms of moving back to Uganda and just like buying a buying car, finding homes, like the best things for that. So I finally put my Patreon. It's also going to be in the description box below. I don't even know if there's a description box in these live, but um, oh, hi, Gilbert. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so from there, you guys can get membership and then you have one hour of just asking me or talking to me about whatever you want. So that's that. Also, um, housekeeping, Wanted to mention, sorry, I'm seeing all of the questions on here. I don't see them on the computer. So whatever you ask, uh, yeah, sorry if it's a delay. Uh, but what else do I want to mention? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> and now I'm distracted. Um, so today I dropped merch. As you guys can see, it's this is an Africa one. So I have two um, different designs with the gold colorway. And the Africa one says, I am Africa. And then the um, Uganda one is like the, like the map of Uganda. And it says the pearl of Africa on it. And then the, later in the week, I'll drop the black and the white. Um, I just couldn't do it all at once. There's so much going on in like the merch store and stuff. But every month, there'll be different designs and such. <laughs> Why is it going to die? <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, this live is however long the light is available. But anyway, yeah, so I have a bunch of questions. Yes, I'm good. Okay, Zed, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, I guess I'll give you guys a rundown of what happened. So I was working all day at home, like it's good. Went for a meeting, met with Nadia. If you guys don't know Nadia, her channel, I'll leave a little um, thingy. But uh, came home, no water. Life in Africa. Like, what the hell? Like, all the other apartments, I turned on the taps, they worked, but no water. So I came back and I could have used probably another apartment, but the houseboy wasn't there. Nobody was there. The plumber, my dad's not answering the phone. You guys, the wahala of living in Africa sometimes. So no water. I can't shower. I can't eat. I can't do nothing. So I had to come to my friend's house. So even that's why the lighting is the way it is. Forgetting there's a church next door. <laughs> so right now they're like in revival or something, whatever. Anyway, it's really, really funny. Um, but yeah, ooh, questions coming through. So homeboy, someone's laughing. Yeah, Kara, it's freaking hilarious. So no water or the church going loud. I was like, let me just take the church because at least tomorrow I can go to work and stuff. But like, it's either power, water, or noise. It's something. <laughs> anyway, um, so homeboy Peter says, I want to start a YouTube channel in Uganda as well. Any, any advice on type of content? So I'm always a person who says, give the people what they want. Test out what you can on Instagram. Ask people. Notice, like, go around and ask questions and see, like, things that people need answers to. And then you'll realize that, like, there's dope content. There's content everywhere, everywhere. It just depends on, like, what your niche is. And make sure it's something that you're passionate about, too. You don't never want to do anything. And, like, you're not passionate about it. You don't care. Because it, it, people can tell in the camera. Like, it'll come through. It's just like, oh, you're just here just for just. Like, so keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, let me see what else. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Instagram questions while questions roll through in here and answer. I hope you guys can hear me. Like between the children playing outside at the church, I'm like, oh my god. Anyways, uh, so let's go in order from the first time. So someone had asked me, how did you and your friends meet? I mean Nadia, Mona, Lucy, Anita, Mishi, and Mommy Deb. Okay, so my group of friends, the, that group of friends, um, the ones you see on like social media and stuff. Um, I met Nadia when we were babies, like we were kids. Our parents are friends with each other. So that I feel like 
why I love Uganda so much, and I always tell people, network, network, is that you will meet people, and more likely than none, as long as you're all adult people, you'll keep, uh, you'll cultivate the friendships and keep them going. So our parents' generation was really good at this. I think everyone was on the come up, everyone was really grinding. So people really had connections and they kept them. They networked, they really were big on that. So anyways, basically, her parents are like my aunt and uncle, like, you know what I mean, and vice versa. And then her cousin, the reason why we're still so close is, her cousins are like my my best friends. So we ended up being like neighbors, quote unquote. So we live in a small town and they're the other people. We're the next next Ugandans to move to the small town. So by default, we're the same age. So those are like my homies for life. They were my best friends growing up, everything, everything. So then every time that Nadia and her sister would come and visit, we would always all be together. So that's the story behind that. Then I met everybody else through her. Yeah. Um, Someone else asked, you guys in the diaspora for creating fire content that we should follow. I don't know what that means. Sorry, I got cut off. So let me forget that. Before moving back home, what you gonna think were you always sure to have with you? Oh, in Canada? I don't know, but I it's hilarious that people find it so shocking that I grew up on Ugandan food. I think that's one thing. Um, just like a side note. So I grew up on like Motoke, Vinyabwa, everything, everything, Kasava. Uh, smoked fish, ugh, even gizzards. I was like, ugh. But like so many things I grew up on and people are just like, when I came, like, have you ever eaten this before? I was like, bruh. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> um, and then the funniest part is I have an aunt who has a store in Toronto area. She's like my mentor. She imports foods from Uganda to Toronto. So literally you get fresh matoke and it come in like two days. So it's pretty much the same thing. But I guess the difference would be the how it's prepared. It's not like we do it like outside and all of that. So like, I suppose that's the difference. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see what other comments are coming through. <laughs> Someone asked, okay, Kara asked, where am I from? So I am a Muganda, grew up in Toronto area, hence the accent and such. And then uh, coming, uh, like living here, or sorry, family wise, my dad's family and side is from kind of by Mukono area so Chugwe so that's where like my family is family land so really like an hour from town I'm not far at all um what is my favorite color that's so funny <laughs> Jaffer hi <laughs> my favorite color I have colors so lavenderish purple is my favorite color but white gold and black are always the colorway that I go for um Nigerians in USA grew up on fufu and a, a goosey. Yeah, right? We grew up on all these things. So people find it so shocking. I'm like, nah, bruh. I know my food. I love it. So, yeah. Uh, someone asked, do I have a man? <laughs> Y'all nosy, nosy. Stay tuned for content on that, okay? Let, let's let's keep the hype good, like bubbling up. And then you can, I'll answer that one day. But ain't going to be our, ain't going to be not. Actually, no. Subscribe to my Patreon. Then you can find out <laughs> the answer to that. <laughs> I'm so done. Okay, anyways, back to the Instagram questions. Someone asked, what's your schedule like? So I'm a very, like, type A. Like, I need to have structure. Whether I follow through on that structure or not, don't ask. But I need a schedule every day of my life. So my morning, I wake up at 6 in the morning. I do my morning routine from 6 to 7. So that's prayer, meditation, um, affirmations, <laughs> just like being in my zone and just, you know, spending time with God and spending time with my, like myself and cultivating, growing my relationship with myself through God. So that's my morning. Then I like to work out, but that's not every day because ain't nobody got time for that. So three times a week, I like to work out for about an hour, then I'll eat, and then I usually head to my office, but these days I do, don't want to be there. I just am like, mm, and I don't really do well with working at home, so I try and like go back and forth between working at home, working at the office. When I realize I'm not being productive, I just go to my office, so there's that. And then I get home by like four or five. Ideal situation, I read a little bit, then I have dinner, like cook dinner or order food or whatever. And watch shows. I like to laugh. If I'm not laughing, I'm like, where did my day go? Like, I need to, like, exude hilarious positive energy and just, you know, laughing. I, I heard this quote, laughing. When you laugh, you live longer or something like that. So that's beauty why. And then, oh, and I FaceTime my family. So 
I haven't been to Canada and was coming to a year and a half, or it's probably a year and a half now, even more maybe. And that's absolutely crazy. But I keep staying in the sense of I just FaceTime my family every day. Even before I made it here, I was <laughs> talking to my mom and I was like, I have no water. <laughs> she's like I have to go to court like I gotta go um so yeah I talk to my family every day I talk to my sister too she's also a content creator look out for Crystal Crystal St. Julie at Crystal St. Julie on Instagram um someone said thanks for all the work wait for, waiting for the live I love that thank you um someone asked internet provider for quality zoom calls on laptop and phone y'all have y'all been watching my content I did a whole video on service providers for internet because I know how important it is, especially when you're from abroad too. Like we're used to, like even if I don't have internet at home, I can go to a cafe and get internet for free. Like we're just used to internet just floating around all over the air somewhere. <laughs> so I had to do a video just to help people out. If you live in like um, direct Kampala, like CBD in the surrounding areas, Zuku is life. Right now I'm using Roke. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can do this live. In the beginning it was a little off, but I think that was my fault, but yeah. There's that, so I think that answers that. There's other ones, but they're expensive. I'm just like, why would you spend money on that? Like, go get Zuku for 150K. Um, so that, yeah, so the fastest reliable, I feel like is Zuku. Um, that's just me on, yeah, that's just my opinion. They should sponsor me at this point, bruh. Anyway, um, continue queening. Oh, thank you, I shall, we shall. We're trying to bring black African excellence to the content in this world I feel like there's so much struggle culture and I'm just like sure there's that part in Africa there's that part everywhere in the world but like I'm not gonna spend my time and my money highlighting that when we want people to come and move so they can invest so we can get better things happening in, in Uganda we can get more investors coming to bring us nice things and fun things to do no one wants to come if people see shit, they're not going to come and invest in shit. So, like, let's show better things, you know? Um, okay, let me go in the chat so I can answer y'all on the, on the... Ooh, they're coming in. Oh, God, guys. Um, someone had, have you thought of visiting the Pro Marina Estates? Yes, actually, I want to do a video with them, but I wanted to wait till they were done a lot of the major things. I didn't want it to be like, this is what they have now, and then I have to go back. Like, I wanted to be like, this is the most bomb video because everything is there. So that's not happened in Pro Marina yet. Um, someone said, what's the biggest challenge as a YouTube content creator of Uganda? I think we need to do a live on just that. That's a fantastic question. <laughs> I was just um, sitting with Nadia because we had to do it. Um, like, anyway, we had a business meeting and we were just going off on that. So that is a live on its own. But I think the biggest thing is people taking you seriously and not realizing this is a job. This is marketing. This is a job. And brands need to take us more seriously. People viewing needs to take it more seriously. Um, just so, just little things like that. So that deserves a lot. That was a fantastic question, Canadian Traveler. But I definitely think um sustaining it as my main job like my goal is july i'm strictly relying on content creation and i think it's been a bit of a struggle um maintaining that um if you guys i don't know if anyone understands youtube or is in the youtube realm but when you <laughs> views depending on where the views come from in the world they're priced different essentially like your revenue is different so when it comes from africa it's a lot less so when you're content creating on the continent you need to be humongously making like that coin you know but versus someone who can be doing like finance content in their room in america have five thousand subscribers and making thousands of dollars a month you know what i mean so that's been my that's been my funding is the issue um Someone asked Rachel, my question is straight. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Romano, what's up? <laughs> Everyone wants to know these things. Like I said, subscribe to my Patreon. We're going to be, I think I'm going to do lives weekly on my Patreon with actual um, topics and then we'll divulge all of this. I think a dating one is overdue though. It's like long overdue. We definitely need to do one. Anyway. When is your next girl's trip? Good question. When, whenever these, you know, businesses want to get on a more collaborative level, definitely soon then. I think though this month, I'm trying to do something at the end of the month. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. I'll keep you tuned on that. Um, I'm coming to Uganda soon. How do I get in touch with you? On my Patreon. 
<laughs> you want to book a meeting, go on there. I think it's like the last subscription option. And you can we could talk for a whole hour and just talk about whatever. If it's straight business and it's collaborative straight business, then obviously email me. But if it's not, then it's more so like advice or things you want to know, then Patreon. Um, what do you love the most? I love love. I love love. I love good energy. Um, I love just seeing people flourish and what they love to do. I don't know. I just feel like I complain a lot and I get annoyed easily. And I just feel like when I woos on, I'm in that moment of being like, no, like, what's so great about this moment? What's so great about this situation? Where how can I turn it around? That's like having to like divulge in love and all of that. And it, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, girls fitness. Hey, beautiful. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if I'm beautiful today. I've just uh, been in a car with dust and everything. <laughs> Welcome to UG. Someone said, please, 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 Rachel, take us on a tour of the pro I would love to see a review, but yeah, I definitely will do it. Um, I had told them I'll reach out to them in June. So look out for that in June. Um, mm, someone said monetize your afternoon, not monetize. I didn't meet an ad. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I have to reword that. <laughs> Uh, monetize this stream. I think I monetized this stream. I swear I did. Y'all want to send me some moolah? Go ahead. <laughs> um, someone asked, oh, hey, Nadia. <laughs> so could you please tell us more of what you worked with in C? What did you study? Oh, and like in college. Um, okay, so sorry. In university, I studied finance and economics. So it was a major or a fine, or an economics degree with a major in finance, um, which left little room to do anything else, literally. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I gained all that knowledge, and I'm hoping in the next few years it'll pay off because, yeah, like I think people see this and they see what we do as just like, oh, this is just cute things and it's just for fun and whatever. And it's like, no, I really want to cultivate this and turn this into a business, like, literally, like. A le like to change people's lives and help them transition to coming to Africa. And on top of that, that means like addressing economic issues and, and such in different countries, not just Uganda, like every country in Africa is so different and diverse. So it'd be so cool to meet with people on that level who are in like, you know, finance departments, economics, we're making, sorry, um, we're making decisions economically, like so many things where I'm just like, maybe my degree will pay up there. My parents would be so proud because I guess to them, they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so someone said, so it's May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month. So what do you do to keep your mental health in check? Um, therapy. Therapy. Staying um, in touch with my family, definitely. Uh, because they get me the most. Like, those are the people who see me the rawest form of Rachel. And, uh, you know, just making sure, like, we're all good and, like, checking in with them. My mom's always asking me, she's like, are you okay? Are you well? I think she's just worried as a mother. But um, yeah, so family, friends, definitely friendships that matter. I think it was either Nadia's life or someone someone had put somewhere where they were like, we need to get used to understanding the difference between an acquaintance and a friend. And personally, I think there's nothing truer that I've read in the last couple of months. So like acquaintances are good. It's fun. It's cool. But like my friendships, like my ride or die is like, there's like make, take, making it a note to really be close with them and like check in with them and like vice versa. So yeah, that's really important to me. And then therapy is life changing. <laughs> I highly recommend, <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, Uganda is great and beautiful country, but with bad and outdated leadership. What is your say on this? Thanks for the great content. To be honest with you, and maybe people judge me on this and that's okay. I really don't care, I'm a big age. You know when you turn 30, you really don't care about a lot of things people think. Um, there's a reason why even abroad, I don't divulge in politics that much. It's just not something I can control as a human being. What I focus on, on is what I can control, what I can do, the impact I can make in my community, in my life, in my family and such. So to me, I always see it as money makes the world go around. So the closer I am to being a billionaire, the <laughs> closer I am to making big decisions. So that's how I see it. Judge me if you want, it is what it is. <laughs> Um, someone asked, do I love chocolate? Funny enough, I like hints of chocolate. Depends. Some people just like overdose of it and I'm just like, can't relate. Um, where are the best places you have been? I'm going to assume you're asking in regards to Uganda. So um, Kampala, I can speak on Kampala because I've been obviously not everywhere, but a lot of places. I have favorites. I like places with views. 
personally. So I like to have a cocktail or good food high up in the sky, just looking at like hills and, and things like that. So I actually really like Holy Crepe and Kololo because you get freaking views. They're gorgeous. And then Sky's the restaurant up top. Um, ugh, 99. I'm always there. Why am I, Why do I? Anyway, whatever. The restaurant up top. <laughs> gorgeous views. And I just have a cocktail. You just like, I just, yeah, that's, that's just me. But anyway. Um, okay, so are you planning to get a dual citizenship? Actually, I just got my dual citizenship, guys, last week. So the live of where, not the live, the vlog where I addressed a little bit about it um, is going, oh, wow, the lighting is getting really bad. <laughs> is going tomorrow, I think. So today's video is with Dang, who's a former NBA player. Then tomorrow's video will be the vlog. The one after that will be about my trip to Ginger the Lodge, I see that. So there's a lot of content happening the next couple of days. I wanna stay organized, but yeah. So I'm gonna do a whole separate video on dual citizenship because that was Wahala, you guys. That was just, I'm like, do you guys want you guys to come back? Like, what the hell is this? So yeah, and here I was thinking it came with a passport. And they're like, congratulations, you got it. And there was a separate application for that. I'm like, what is going on here? Anyway, that deserves its own video, but yeah, so now I'm officially back to being a Ugandan. I was born a Ugandan, ended up Canadian, now I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just so happy because that was months, months. That was the reason why I didn't go home for a few months because I wanted to be here if there were any issues. Lo and behold, to find out, it didn't come with a passport. So anyway. <laughs> so my last one is my birthday. My birthday is December 11th. I am a Sagittarius. I don't follow star signs like that, but what I do know is... Sagittarius are crazy, and every time I meet one, I'm like, we're spirit animals, we're the same person. <laughs> um, how do I get in touch with you? By booking me on Patreon. Unless it's direct business, then you can email me. But other than that, I can't open all the DMs. I've realized, and the reason I, I say this, and I don't want it to be you know, rude or anything, but the... I get so many emails and then I have to cipher through them. So I'll spend like a week ciphering through and then like weeks go by and I don't get there. So there are people who really are like, yo, I need to get in contact with you for this business thing or for moving back. I have all these particular specific questions. Then there's people who ask, you send me emails about nonsense, stupidity. Someone the other day sent me an email that just said, hey. <laughs> so now imagine all like I'm flooded with all this stuff. So it's just like, no, I need to find a more productive way. So if you're really serious, serious and you really need me, you will go on Patreon, you will book a one-on-one -on -one session, no ahala. Um, if it's business, you'll find me, you'll find a way. <laughs> um, are you planning on visiting every place in Uganda? Yes, I am. I really want to showcase Uganda on a, on a light that I would be very comfortable traveling in and a, very, and a lot of people I grew up with or who had a very similar upbringing would be more comfortable going to. So it's not going to be like, I don't camp, I'm sorry. <laughs> the only camping I do is on a patio outside with a cocktail or a glass of wine. So I don't want to show it like backpacking and all that. There's already that there. Go and Google it. Go YouTube it. You'll find it. So I want to show gun in a more luxurious sense, but still informative and helpful. So still showing industries and stuff. So my ginger trip was supposed to be that. Um, just the industry parts couldn't happen. So the next trip I do will be way more informative. It'll be going around in the city, but also like the, whatever the towns I end up going to. But at the same time, showing you like the lodge I stay at or the accommodations that are really nice and comfortable. Me, guys, at my big age, I can't trade comfort for adventure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very adventurous, but I also need to be comfortable. <laughs> um, do you some videos and oh, someone's telling me to go west. You got to, of course, you go. I'm going everywhere, you guys. Listen, <laughs> I have a list. I just needed to work out in my favor, you know? <laughs> Someone said you mentioned that you love to travel and want to want to more in the future. So you plan on moving elsewhere permanently, or will you continue to travel whilst Uganda remains your permanent home? I actually really want Uganda to remain my permanent home. I'm very random and sporadic, though. Who knows? Like I'm not married. I don't. You know, I'm just single me. So right now, I can say I'm going to stay in UG. I can't see calling anywhere else home, to be honest with you, because I have a sense of home. Like. I grew up with so many things and I'm here and I'm like, wow, this is my reality, but just in Toronto. <laughs> so I can't see myself living anywhere outside of Uganda, but um, you never know, you know? Sometimes you might wanna go where the money resides. I might live somewhere for like three months somewhere, three months somewhere else, but home, home, this is home. <laughs> um, 
Someone said, my channel is quite interesting, informative for Ugandans abroad. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Faisal. Yeah, I'm, me personally, I'm only doing content if it means it helps you guys make a decision in your life or adds value to your life or something. I don't see the point of making random sporadic content. I'm just like, I'm not a comedian, so I can't do comedy. Um, I love style and beauty, but when coming to Uganda, I was like, is this really helpful to anybody here? Like it is actually, oh, side note, I want to mention that um, each day of the week, ideally when it become more of a streamlined network, is going to be dedicated to different things. So Thursdays was like style Thursdays, but I think it's just going to be like the beauty corner. So be style, makeup, whatever, just be one day. Because I know every day, everybody wants something different. I always want to be accessible to everyone, whether it's kids, grandma um a mom a dad a single person a uni person like i always want content that's going to relate to somebody so um, i know beauty isn't going to be everybody's thing so i think every day of the week has to be something different just like how fridays is real estate i think thursdays is gonna be like the beauty corner and it's just all of that so if you're not interested you just don't tune in on thursdays but if you are then you know that that day is particularly for that so we're trying to get more organized Finally getting a team organized now, starting to get see things make sense. Editor, videographer, PA, everything. So now that the people are there, I think it'll be much easier to create the content. And um, yeah, just be organized on my days. Um, what is your favorite movie and YouTube channel? <laughs> Great question. Um, so my favorite movie, <laughs> I'm really an old soul. I'm like an old lady in my house. Um, is Dirty Dancing. Don't ask why. I just love that movie. It's like my life. Every time I watch it, I just feel a sense of peace. I love old things. I'm an old soul. Like I think I was meant to be like the 60s to 80s. But uh, then I remember someone telling me years ago, they're like, but you're black. I was like, yeah, those are struggle times for us. But I love like the fashion and all of that kind of stuff and like real storytelling and whatever. Now I feel like everyone, everything's a remake. Every movie's a remake of something. Um, and then my favorite YouTube channel. I actually just love, 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 love content in Africa. Like I think now my, my recommendations and suggestions are just more about people coming back or people just doing dope things on the continent. It's so funny because I didn't realize for the longest time that any of this existed. It wasn't until, no, after COVID, after I started doing my own videos out of frustration that I couldn't get answers about Uganda. And then I was like, oh, there are people doing this. This is so cool. So obviously I love my friends' channels. I think they do a phenomenal job. Um, I love Nadia. I love Lucy's channel. I love that Mona does makeup that's related or that's uh, accessible to Uganda. It's like using products that you can buy in Uganda. Like that is so dope. Um, also love travel content or like, or not travel, but like, I think we need to give it a specific term, but African content, like Wudemaya, um, Teo Aina, like those, those people, like they do such a great job. Found them maybe like a few months ago. I was like, wow, it's a whole other world. This is so dope. Um, but yeah, those are really, those are really dope channels. Um, yeah, I'm just really on this thing of just consuming more African content. Um, what do you, someone said, do you want to buy, build your home? And if so when do you see yourself doing that? So I want to actually build a vacation home for myself. I realize as much as I'm a city girl, I need to get out of the city, like at least every two weeks. I'm going nuts. And I don't have a village home. My parents never built a village home, but we have a disgusting amount of land. We just don't have a village home. So one, I didn't want one acre. I was like, y'all, y'all have all this land. Just give me an acre. And I just want to build a getaway house. <laughs> so I want a car and a getaway house. Other than that, I love my apartment. I'm going to stay there until I get married. Boom. Ask my future mans about that. Where, where he's building me my house. It's going to be in Muguru or Bukoto at this point. Because, yeah. Ain't nobody going further than that. No one got time for that. Um, how's your progress been on learning the local language? So... <laughs> I still suck. So you guys, I don't think you guys realize I can speak. I can formulate sentences. I can get by. I can go out and do things. It's how I sound doing it is terrible. So that's what I need to practice as well as more complex things. But day to day, getting by, living, da, da, da. I, that's hands down. I have that. But my Luganda sounds terrible, you guys. This accent is the worst. <laughs> um... Uh, what is one thing you wish someone told you you knew before moving to Uganda? Ooh, fantastic question. Um, I actually also have a video planned on 
the things I would highly, highly, highly not recommend doing before coming. Um, but I think I had been exposed to UG so much prior to coming. I didn't think about, I don't think there's anything that I didn't realize. One thing I think though is invest in your mental health. Like make sure that it's part of your budget. I don't, if you're used to something different, I don't care where you live. This is not going like, talking down on Uganda specifically, anywhere you live in the world. If you grew up for three decades and used to something else, you're gonna, it's gonna take a lot to get accustomed to and climatized to a new environment. Highly recommend, highly. You need to invest in your mental health. Get a therapist, get someone you can talk to, who, are you, who you can relate to or whatever. Because bruh, um, other than that, um, everyone, I, I don't feel like there's anything I was like shooketh about. But I think I have a list, so look up for a video on that. I'll probably do that next month. Um, did you keep your Canadian citizenship? Of course. <laughs> what? Where was I going? Bruh, there is no way that was not going to happen. Like, yeah, no, I had to. <laughs> Who was my favorite singer? Beyonce. But not just because of now, like since I was 11, since she was in Destiny's Child. Since her bad wigs and her, when we were, used to talk down about her and I, yeah, no, been, been, yeah, always been. Um, let me see. How do you deal with poor roads and poor outages? Listen, I have water outage and I'm here at a friend's house because I have no water. It's just, I guess it's a shitty part you have to deal with. It sucks, but it is what it is. But um, what was the other one? Oh, poor roads. Oh my God, I hate it. I hate it more when I'm not in control driving or I'm not in a big car where I don't feel it. So I feel like the best way to deal with that is to have a big, nice car with shocks and stuff where you can drive around and you're okay or drive yourself. Other than that, and Ubers and stuff, ugh, I hate it. It's terrible. Do you want to go to Dubai? Yes, I do. I want to do it on my way to Canada, so whenever that is, whenever I go. When are you bringing more plots for sale content? Oh, okay, so the plan is every month to have a different, uh, what's it called? Oh my God, is my thing dying? Um, to have a different, uh, different area to showcase on plots of land and as well as rentals, as well as homes for sale. So I just wanna bring you guys as much content as possible. I want you guys to invest, make smart moves. And yeah, when you move back, you already have land, you already have a maybe agriculture business going and you're just coming when you've already been making income for some time. So that's really my focus for you guys. That's, it's my dream. So we're just getting more organized, but more of those videos are coming every month. Um, well, you mentioned a bit that you have a few business ideas that you're in the works for. Congrats. Thank you. How are you finding the process of creating your business? I uh, love you, brother. Oh, thanks, Hans. Um, <laughs> it's been a lot. It's not easy. I'm, I'm from a country where... They promote youth getting, doing businesses, doing big things. There's grants, there's loans, there's so many opportunities, there's there's mentorship programs, there's so much about just promoting the youth because they see how important it is to invest in young people to be able to gain, like to grow the economy. Like that's what I mean about making moves economically in this country, or sorry, in this continent. So it's been a bit harder here uh, for sure, even just opening a bank account all the loops, uh, hoops and hurdles. I'm like, you can just do that online, you know, abroad. It's so easy. There's like, you know, that convenience and that ease. Here, hmm, it's a bit of a different story. Um, but I do like how I was actually said in Luel, the interview I did with him, which is live today, a little shameless plug, um, at about 9 p.m. today. But he said, like, once you do a business in Africa, the return on investment comparison to abroad is way more. And I'm like, yo, that is so true. So if you can get past the headaches and the hurdles and all that and just get yourself set up and streamlined, the sky is the limit in, in Africa. And that's why I'm always about pushing people and, like, just come back. Even if you're not fully moving, you're just going half and half. Corona taught us you can work anywhere. You can sit on a couch somewhere in freaking Guatemala and still <laughs> work. My mom has a friend, she, <laughs> she's a lawyer as well. And uh, she's a Toronto lawyer, like Canadian. Homegirl is in Grenada on a beach. She logs into Zoom court, does her thing, logs off because the time difference is, is nothing, right? It's the same. And um, living her best life. And my mom is in the cold. I don't understand. So things like that where I'm like, if you can make it work for yourself, come for six months, do something. 
you know, grow, uh, set up the systems and then move back. If you can't find someone you trust here, that's also, I'm saying it's so easy. It's not easy. Uh, but if you're here for very, very many months, you can make it happen. And yeah, do something here, bro. So many people get inherited land and I'm like, so you're just going to sit in North America on that? <laughs> anyway, if it's still there, it's not squatters. <laughs> someone asked what African country outside of Uganda have you are, are you dying to visit? Oh, so my dream for this year is to go to every single East African country. I want to see white sands and the blue crisp beach in Africa. I've seen Cuba. I was taken away. I think I was always drunk on the beach. I was like, this is the past. I love my life. And I'm like, we have Cuba here. We have Mexico. We have all these places people are dying to go. So I'm like, I, that's right now. I want to go everywhere. Trust me, guys. I, I think I have low-key ADD. But at the moment, <laughs> East Africa, I want to see all of that. Like all the luxury. Give me all the luxury. Um, hello from Orlando. Oh, hi, Ingrid. How are you? Um, okay. What advice would you give someone starting a YouTube channel wanting to grow their platform? Um, I would say every year is kind of different. I'm going to be so cliche, but you guys don't understand. You hear the cliches, you don't realize they actually make sense. You need to decide what you want to do. However, I would say test out and see what people want, what people want to see, what you're interested in showcasing, and how you can do a little bit of a twist. The cool thing about Africa is that there's not very many African content creators, so you can do a lot of things that are working abroad. It doesn't mean everything will work abroad, nor their strategies, in order for you to make money. Because, like I said, different views from different countries give you different revenue. It's just different. It's just For some reason, it's just different. I know what the reason is, but we'll elaborate that on another time. Anyway, the advice I would say is, Make sure you're consistent. You don't need high-ass quality. A smartphone these days gives you good quality, good enough for you to put it up. You can edit yourself, do something really um, uh, informative, and then post it. So my thing is make sure, A, it's value adding that people are, you're solving a problem or you're giving people something that they need. And then B, make sure you're consistent. So whether it's every week, every two weeks, if you do like how I was in the beginning, guys, I've been on YouTube forever since 2013. I was treating it like a hobby till 2017. So for four years, I was doing jack shit. So I'd post a video once a month, every two months, every four months. Obviously it wasn't gonna grow. I don't know what I was thinking. I, well, I wasn't really on this whole, like I wanted to grow. I had other adventures and other things going, I had a business. It wasn't my main priority, but now that it's my main priority, I realize I'm now consistent. When you're consistent, you can realize people will comment. You can kind of see where you need to gravitate towards what they like, what they don't like. So through consistency, you start to learn. From there, then you can decide what your niche is, what when you want to post, what time to post, all like that, kind of the science behind it. But my big, big thing is be consistent. Otherwise, you can't even study the analytics if you're not consistent. So there's no point. Um, so yeah, that was, that's really me talking to my past self because <laughs> that was the only real thing that was hindering me. Now I'm like, oh, this, this makes so much sense. Can you turn on lights? I know it's so dark. Sorry, it's, I'm not home. So it's the only light I have because I have no water. <laughs> Next time we're going to have lights, wine, flowers, all ambiance, but it is what it is. Um... What is the one thing you miss about Canada that you don't have in Uganda? Also, where do I start on that? <laughs> so many things. A, Amazon Prime. I want to order a package this morning and I get in the at night. And not because someone's Buddha just brought it or something. Speaking of which, also customer service. I don't think people understand how much money you can make just spoiling your customers. And it doesn't even cost you anything. Just train them to be better people. <laughs> so that's one thing that drives me insane. Oh my God, the light. Okay. Um, what else do I miss? Um, I miss more options. Like I miss a variety and options, which I think like if you're in South Africa, Nigeria, this isn't as much of a problem. Like I miss having lots of restaurants. I can't decide where I'm going to go. I miss having so many places to be. I, I can't decide where to go. I miss... You know, that's that, that, an organization. Um, what else? Yeah, just little things like that. And just normal prices, normal prices for things, guys. I take that for granted. Someone asked, what car do I have? Well, I may not currently have it in the moment, but I am, it's out there because I'm manifesting. <laughs> I have a car. I just don't have it in my possession, you know? It's coming. It's coming to me. I know you guys can't see my face. I'm so sorry. Um... I'm just not home. Next time, in two weeks. I'm going to do another live in two weeks. You guys will see more. You'll have more lights and stuff. 
Um, have you ever? Oh, my sister's calling, girl. I'm on a live. Friend, do not disturb though. So, anyway, um. Also, why doesn't she know I'm on a live? Why is she? Was she not like answering, or did she not see my post? Are you planning on learning Kiswahili? After I am fluent in Luganda and French, then gladly it'll make me more, it'll give me more opportunities than yes. Um, have you ever watched African movie series on Netflix? Um, I watch a lot of random things on Netflix. I just don't know where they're from. I just base it off of the names of like the actors and actresses and whatever. So I guess, I guess. <laughs> uh yeah the light yeah sorry guys literally it's just the struggle it's just because of not home <laughs> i'm trying to put it up everywhere i'm like i don't know if i should put a flashlight i don't know guys this is this is my struggle any possibility of you collaborating with unapologetic nomads are they based in rwanda because I, I don't know if they are then if i'm in rwanda yeah i would love to everywhere i go i want to collaborate with other people doing dope things and making content i'm never opposed to that just as long as you're putting in the work because there's people who aren't, and I'm just like, you just started a channel, and you're already asking me to go laugh. Like, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm just like, literally, like, not a single video. Like, that's crazy. Um, girl, come to TZ. Yes, me, I'm coming. I told you, white sands and water. I'm there. <laughs> um, with your observation, is it good to invest in high-end family-oriented real estate or one to two bedroom for those who have just started working in with no family but want to live in decent environment? I think you need to start, break into the market, break in where you can. So if you can afford more affordable housing, then go towards affordable housing. Luxury housing is for you already, you have other things that will pay for that. But if it's like, this is your first investment, you need to get in them. You need somewhere to live, A. Eh? Um, you want somewhere that's decent for your family and yourself, then of course, like, go for like affordable housing. Um, you got a girl here always watching from North Texas. Hi, Rhythm and Life from North Texas. Absolutely love enjoying Kampala and um, and other areas, and you got it through your lenses. Thank you, thank you. I know in the beginning, I think a lot of people, even now, they're like, who's your target market? Who's your niche? I'm like, people who grew up like me, <laughs> people who are abroad, people who are used to living a different way of life. Like, nobody wants to live how you're living, comfortable, and then you move to a whole other country to struggle and like, you know, not at my age. Maybe when I was 21, no, not even that. I was born bougie out of the womb, you guys. It was never gonna happen. <laughs> um, what internet provider can you recommend to use while in Uganda? I have a video on that, so and I already just mentioned that earlier in this live, so there's that. You guys can find. What is your favorite food? Um, uh, whew, guys, food. <laughs> I literally can't name one thing. It depends. You have to give me a country, and I can tell you because I eat everything. Are you still teaching English classes? No, I don't do that anymore. Uh, it didn't make it sense in COVID. How is nightlife in UG compared to Canada? Which one do you prefer? UG? Canada, you can only go out till 2 a.m. Then there's after hours. That's sketchy people who are high on some weird things. And it's like a whole room with that. So no. Um, UG, period. But I wish we had more clubs. Um, I wish we had more club options and like more lounges with more like like a cross between, because honestly, I don't go to bars if it wasn't for Uganda. Like to go to a bar to do what? Like it's weird. I'm like Ugh, the ghetto, but UG. I'm in every bar. <laughs> okay, not every bar, but nice places. Um. Okay, when you collab with people on your channel, how do you go about contacting them? And does it matter if you don't have a big following? Uh, would you still want to feature on it? Okay, yeah, no. Um, so I collab with people. I don't really care about necessarily following or even with brands, like if they're big or not. My thing is, are you quality? Are you adding value? Are you serving in the community? You get what I mean? So for me personally, like there's a lot of people who quote unquote call us content creators, say they create content and you scroll through their stuff and there's no content to be found. So no, I wouldn't. There's brands where you're just messy or you're not well put together, not well branded. I wouldn't personally, because then that goes to show the, what I'm putting out there, like, it, it, it devalues my brand, you know, that I've worked so hard for. So for me, I, I don't care, you can have 300 followers, but it's like, are you quality? Are you consistent? Are you bringing, adding value? Are you doing something that's different or, you know, relevant? That That's what matters to me. So um, I think that's a really, really dope question because I think a lot of people don't realize that. It's really just about 
yeah, just come correct, you know? <laughs> like, even as a brand, or you have good customer service, you even have customer service. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, I'm more about, like, quality and higher-end things, and I've always been about that. Even when I was just doing strictly beauty, it was, like, higher-end quality, not just of the masses. Like, you know, that just, just the, the specific few, the niche, that little niche. That's what I care about. Um, uh, someone said your money comes back faster with affordable housing because you spend less on land, location, and building. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, it does, but you also need to make sure you're different because there's a lot of affordable housing. Guys, I've been to meetings. I People have toured. She's been like, come tour my place. I want you to feature. And I'm like, this is the ghetto. I can never <laughs> No. <laughs> so... You just need to make sure, like, you're offering something better, something different, something extra, you know? Like, even if it's, like, a small... Oh, my God, you guys. I did... When I did the... Whatever, I'm going to say it because it is what it is. When I did my rental video, I think it was months ago. I need to do that, too. I want to do that more monthly. But um, there was the cutest, cutest, cutest rental. Literally... By the looks of it, I was like, this is so cute. This is adorable. Da, da, da. So I saw the picture. So I reached out to the lady. She's like, yeah, 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 for sure. You can do a video. I get there. The building, the, lo the location was great. But the building, the, the, like little things that I was like, Whoa. like the security wasn't even available. There were little things where I was like, this is insane. I was like, I could never. But the minute you open that door, first of all, her customer service, how quickly she answered, um, even things like, just like leaving little mints, like there were snacks, there was all these things. Like, we, like my family, we have rentals. We like I've been pushing my family to be like, you need to get to this caliber. So it doesn't even matter where you're located. You don't need to be in the middle of Kalola on top of the hill in like two thousand dollars per month, whatever. You can be whatever it is that you have available. Use that, but just be better than what's available in the market. That chick is always booked, always, always. Her neighbor is questionable. Everything else is questionable. But it was so gorgeous. I'm like, this is amazing. So, yeah. So, that's something that you have to realize. Yeah, it is so dark. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to make it work. I'm like, should I bring this, like, to here? Is that a little better? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not home. And I just don't have water. And so, I had to leave. What are industries that need investment in Uganda? I'm actually filming an investment video tomorrow, which will be up in two weeks. This May is, is information May, y'all. Like, there's so much that's going to be dropping that's going to help you guys. So keep that in mind. Um, do you want to get a dog? No. <laughs> no. I feel like I'm by force just because of, like, the luck I've had with, like, past relationships and all my friends. My kids will be like, mommy, I want a dog, and I'll just give in. But me as me, I'm not taking care of it. No, no, no. They're like babies that never grow up. Why would you want that? <laughs> what would you be doing if you weren't in the YouTube digital content space? I think you are one of the very, very few cool YouTubers with cool quality content. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Um, I probably would have actually done my degree. I, I love businesses. I love business. I love starting something from scratch and seeing it grow and like impact people and impact my wallet and my bank account. Um, so definitely business owner and business. But I think at this point, had I not been doing content creating, I would have gone back into my field and probably done an MBA. Um, I was actually Googling MBAs like two years ago, before COVID and all that. I was like, I'm going to go to California. What reason can I go? Let me do an MBA. So I was looking for, like, what a stupid reason. But anyway, whatever. I was going to do an MBA and I probably would have just gone into finance, like actual finance and like more investing sector because I actually did enjoy it in school. I just didn't like school. Like it killed what I what I enjoyed. So, yeah. Um, well, you were doing Oh, uh, Om360, you're doing an amazing job with your YouTube channel. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm out here hustling, y'all. Uh, someone asked, how old are you? So I just turned 30. You guys, I have a video on that. It was a lot of fun. It was stress. Oh, that should be a video on itself. I should collaborate with Nadia about if, throwing events in Uganda, like a business one about that. Yo. I don't wish that on anybody. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Okay, so that runs out of those questions. I, there were some cool questions that people asked on Instagram. So let me just answer some. Someone says, does your family uh, back in Canada want to come back to Uganda for good like I did? So my parents, definitely retirement is here. Nobody wants to retire in negative 40 degree weather. Like that's just torture for anybody. No, 
no. So my parents will want to come back. My one sister who follows me, she um, she's a lawyer. She has a law firm. Shout out to her. I'm going to link everybody I mentioned in this video below. Um, so she cannot come back because she runs a law firm. Um, however, her and her husband are very interested in investing and living half and half. So um, there's that. And then my other two sisters are very young. One is 19, one is 15, or 16, she just turned 16. Um, so the 19-year-old is also studying law. Uh, my family's full of lawyers. Everybody's a lawyer. Um, but yeah, so she potentially probably couldn't come back either. And then my youngest sister, who knows? She's so young. I feel like at 16, you just should have fun and dabble in everything to see what you actually want to do. But I know for, amongst us as sisters, I want to open businesses for all of us to invest as a group. And like, um, I'll be here on the ground growing and then they can put in their input and whatever. So yeah. Um, okay, so next question. What products do you use for your skin? Um, nothing. <laughs> it's really bad these days. I drink a lot of water. My skin goes on and off. Um, when I stress, it's terrible. So, But I do want to get into more african made products especially more natural so look out for that whenever i find companies and such to um yeah that i really like and like i've tested the true and true i hate when people get collaborations with brands and then you've never used them and they're just like try this and then you never see it again just like one post so i never want to be that person so i need to definitely try out more things and I'm, there's one more african African, luxurious African things in my life. Um, a pick of your natural hair out, no wigs, no braids, no nothing. This person does not watch my vlogs. You guys, lately, haven't I not been just pure natural hair? Like, no, I have natural hair. Um, only reason is because I need to regrow my edges, so there's that. Uh, what else? Let me see what other questions. Someone said, I've never seen you sad. Do you ever get annoyed? Every day, I get very annoyed and I get very irritated. So my issue is I like to be positive. I love positive energy, you guys. Like, that's just my thing. If it's not positive energy, I'm like, why am I in it? But I do complain a lot and I do get annoyed a lot. So I do need to catch. I try to catch myself often. When I'm nervous, I laugh. Sometimes when I'm angry, I laugh. You know when you're just so angry, you're like borderline psycho. You're just like, yo. And I'll just be there laughing to myself. So maybe that's why people haven't seen me angry. But I do, I feel like I have sometimes have anger issues. But I've learned as I've grown up how to deal with them. Uh, someone asked a hella inappropriate question. That's for Patreon, guys. That is not for you. How easily can I get to you? Send an email about business platform creation charges. Okay. So if you're looking for straight business, obviously I can send you a media kit. That would be via email. So rachelnalumu at gmail.com. If you're looking for more uh advice informative things like basically like me answering these questions but it's just you and me and we just talk like a, a meeting that's patreon you guys you have to subscribe for that <laughs> someone said how do you keep a positive attitude um oh yummy um honestly i think i had to create the habit and my daily routine helps me a lot with that. Um, like I said, making it a priority, my relationship got a high priority. Because sometimes, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm not perfect. I wake up and my, my phone is an alarm. I purposely do not sleep with my phone in my bedroom or anything. It's in my living room. And it forces me to get up for my alarm to turn it off. And then on top of that, it forces me, yeah, I just don't want to be on my phone. Sometimes I, if I check one thing, I've even seen one message, I get in a loophole and then I'm just on my phone for like an hour. And that's not how I want to spend my mornings. So when I spend my mornings right and correct, I actually keep a very positive attitude and I'm actually really happy. And I, I like to journal a hundred percent and um, just throughout the day, like little reminders. When I pray a lot throughout the day, just even like small little prayers. I could be my Uber. And it's just like a little like mental little small prayer. It reminds me to keep, you know, appreciative. When I keep like when I keep a um, a mind of gratitude, it by force, it makes you more positive. Because I don't feel like I have you guys ever met someone who's grateful and angry? Because that'd be weird. <laughs> um, oh, my phone's at one percent. If someone wanted to collaborate with you, what process would they have to follow? So like I said, it depends. Um, if it's just straight collaboration or business related, just email me. If it's, oh, I need an apartment or, oh, I have this thing I wanna do, 
I would say Patreon, to be honest with you. That's just the best way because, like I said, I need to filter out people that, hey, is like, hey, email. Like, who emails someone just, hey? Who even DMs just, hey? I know there's a different etiquette around the world, but, guys, if you DM me just, hey, I've deleted it. It's just not. It's not. I'm not reading it. <laughs> do you miss Canada? I really do. I really do. There's so much I miss. But, like, everything I always say I miss besides family, everyone's like, Rachel, it's not open. Nothing is open. Ontario is closed. I can't even go... To like a ministry i can't go and renew anything i can't do anything you just be home looking at the white wall staring at people all day long like nothing is open so i guess there was no point how do you deal with finances so i actually want to keep my finance series going every month i just kind of had a little bit of a hiccup i'm not gonna lie for someone with a finance and economics degree i freaking suck at saving and all of that like i'm not even joking i know the importance it was drilled in me for four years of uni but I'm like, money comes in. I'm like, money sweet. I want this. I want that. <laughs> Just spend. So that's why I feel like why I wanted the series on my channel is you guys would hold me accountable. Like by force, I have to come with content being like, so I saved this much this month. And like, um, this is what I'm doing. Like it would force me to. So yeah, I just need to get my income up. Like I don't, I just feel like I don't want to be in a place where I'm forced to reduce my like life. Like I want to still live my best life. So therefore I need to make more income. I need to work smarter. I need to work a little bit harder, you know? So that's why this May, it's day three and I'm already, I feel like I'm killing it. So there's that. Um, before my phone dies, I think that's it on that. Let me see if there's any other YouTube questions that you guys have. Someone asked, could you please do an Airbnb tour for properties in Entebbe? Yeah, it's definitely coming. Um, so the thing about Airbnb is it's very hard to message people and it's very hard to find really nice accommodations. Like I said, I will never show you guys anything. I'll never show you guys the gutter. And there's a lot of gutter online. Um, if I wouldn't stay in it, I'm not putting it on my channel. I'm just being real. <laughs> what is your favorite clothing brand? Um, okay. So in UG, obviously Miss She, she, um, the Miss She collection, um, just beautiful, flowing, sexy pieces, very feminine, very, um free flowing very like like boho style i love it um and good quality as well and then uh so i'm naming brands that make make clothes uh zara because they make their clothes Ugh, there's nothing like a zara fit guys and the way it fits the body too it's just everything so um zara is big and then asos brand like asos they're actual asos not just being on asos buying people's stuff so i'm very big on just quality. I want to have a piece for 10 years and it still looks good, you know? Um, I don't feel like, like as much as I'm into style, I'm not into wasting my money. Not in that department anyway. <laughs> um, someone asked, how do you manage to get new friends? To be honest with you, I don't need new friends. I love the friends I have. I love, love, love my friends. God has blessed me. <laughs> God has blessed me. I have a lot of new acquaintances, acquaintances on me dope people but in terms of being like close close to people there's very few times where i'll meet someone and i'm like i actually meet people i'm a social butterfly i'll meet people i put me vibe and whatever but like to be on a deeper level and be like yo like i can hang out with you often that doesn't really happen that much especially in uganda where people are very self-aware because self-awareness takes work it takes looking in the mirror and being like damn i ain't shit and then working from there on how to better yourself not a lot of people want to do that. A lot of people want to kind of like front like they're, they're this and they're that. But it's like, no, we're all shit. But I, are you aware about your shit? You know, I don't know if that's mean and dark, but. <laughs> um, someone said, I was thinking of doing my birthday party in UG this year, but now I'm thinking twice about it. <laughs> no, do your birthday party. Just, I don't know, maybe because I'm from a, a world and a country where you, I'm a very hands-on person. So if I can do something myself, don't rip me off. Don't don't be lame. Don't I don't know. Just people are whack sometimes. So that was my issue. Sorry, my phone died, and I really want to answer the questions you guys have left. Uh, let me go to my videos. I hope you guys can still see me. Can you guys still see me? It's probably much brighter. <laughs> um. Oh no. <sighs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Don't take, like, take my, what I say with a grain of salt. Test it yourself, but just understand <laughs> that you need mental capacity to do some things in Uganda, and it is what it is. Just, that's life. Um, this is really irritating me. Why isn't it allowing me? I want to go to my videos, but not, oh, here, the live now. Oh, ciao. Woo! 
Oh, okay, we're live now. Ooh, let me mute this. Okay, so, oh wow, so people, oh, there's so many questions still. Okay, I'm gonna ask, answer a few more because this is getting over an hour and I don't want it to be too long. Um, oh, but the lighting is better, hello. Um, how's the local TV in UG? I actually don't have local TV. I have a Chromecast, so I Chromecast all my, I, this is really bad, I should support more local things, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's my honest to God truth. Um, but I really do want DSTV because there's a lot of dope shows. Have you guys been watching Honey TV? Have you been watching my girl Nadia on the next big trender? Because if you haven't, then you're wasting your time. You need to be. Okay. Um, how's the culture of UG? There's this perception that everyone is out for themselves and can't uplift one another. That is true, but also kind of false. Um, I actually got a lot of people who are shocked that my friends, me and my friends are so supportive with one another. But I'm like, if you're not a supportive friend, why are you a friend? What's the point of your friendship? To flex on each other? That's weird. Um, so I find with, I, I very, I had to nitpick my, my crew, my, my tribe, you know, I have a, a different groups of friends, I have two different groups of friends, but we are supportive for both of us. Like it's, it's beautiful. Like I love my circle. I love my, my people. I, I, yeah. So I just, it depends on the, find quality people. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Um, someone asked, have you got any TV job offers? No, but that's not my goal. I mean, if I did, that's great. Cause that'll mean more people to come to my content and get informative, helpful, you know, content to watch. But, uh, um, no, I haven't. Do you know Luganda and where were you born and how did you go there? Yes, I, I understand Luganda. My Luganda speaking is terrible. Like I said earlier, and I was born in Sweden. Um, someone asked, hi, how are you? Mahesh, Mahesh, I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Someone's asked, how are you at someone's house? Yes, that's why my lighting is off because I am, um, yeah, I'm at my friend's house because I have no water. <laughs> the struggles of UG. Do you know Jemmy Sozi? No, I don't. YouTuber in Toronto? No, but I'm always trying to find more people. So I'll look up for their content. Can you talk about opening an account in UG? Yeah, that's a video coming because it's the ghetto. Someone said, I think you will bag the dimes with your amazing content and business of brain. Daisy, let's speak it into existence. Yes, honey. What would be your advice to you guys who would like to get into the digital content space? Like I said earlier, consistency and quality. And quality doesn't mean just video. You don't need like the latest camera. You can use your phone. But if you're just there talking about nonsense, you're probably not going to get people who want to come back. Um, someone said, also, I want to pause and say thank you for answering all our questions. Really loved it. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Um, someone said, the lighting is better. Yeah, I realized now. <laughs> someone asked, what tribe am I? I am in, I'm a Muganda, and I'm from, my clan is in Pindi. Um, we're like a little small P. Very irrelevant. Sorry to anyone else who's part of that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you do need to support your friends. Like, what the hell? What are we? Like, we're not babies. Like, that's crazy. Even when you're a child, like, that jealousy and that ill will and all that needs to go. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Of course it will happen. You need to learn how to mitigate that because that's not good energy. No one wants to be around that. Um, would you like your work with us? We are going to launch new products. I don't know who you are, though. You didn't say your name or your brand. Yeah, no water. It is crazy. Can you imagine? And it's, it was just my unit. And all the other apartments had water. And there was an empty one. I could have stayed there, but the houseboy wasn't around to open a freaking thing. So there's always something, guys. But it's okay. I'm alive. I'm healthy. I'm blessed. Life is good. <laughs> I do great on TV. I can't read scripts for the life of me. I just am there, like, word for word. Like, I forgot this word. Like, I'm so bad. If I can just just speak like a podcast or like I do in my videos, sure, but actual planned word for word, yo. And I also mumble a lot. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I need speech therapy. <laughs> um, someone asked, did I get that BMW you reviewed? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, my manifesting things into my life, yes, but it, I, my dream car is there. It's just not in my possession yet. The keys are coming. Okay, they're coming, guys. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Uh, what's, girl, I'm here stuck in this lockdown watching you want to come back to Ontario. Let's uh, just enjoy UG. Yeah, I'm enjoying UT, G, UG. Gracie, hey, me, I'm good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. It's a struggle. Um, told we share the same ancestry. I mean, one man promises a <laughs> 
Yes, William, I guess. I'm your sis. Okay, guys, there's so many questions. I want to answer all of these, but I can't. I got to go. I'm going to do another live. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll think of some topics that a lot of you guys have been asking, and then I'll make a live series on that. It'll be on Patreon, but it'll be filmed here. So if you're subscribed to Patreon, that's where you'll get all the content. And then other than that, YouTube lives, this will be monthly. I think the first Monday of the month seems like it makes the most sense. Let me see if there's anything else that might be big. Like we end on a bang. Um, have I ever considered doing an interior design side gig? Like I said, if you book me on Patreon <laughs> and you want any info, like I said, my Patreon was in the description box below. If you book me on there, no wahala. I can do all your interior design for you. Um, how did I combat the currency change? Is it easy to fall into the trap that everything is cheaper? Yeah, guys, I ran out of my savings. <laughs> very, very stupid. Very, very stupid. Um, yeah, that's why I need to get into budgeting. I need to be smarter, especially in the pandemic. I was like, well, I'm not going out, so I must be saving. But I wasn't being intentional, and it showed. So, yeah, I did get into the trap of spending, spending, spending. So now I still, like, I earn in... I don't earn in the shilling. Like I earn some things in the shilling, but like my main thing is not in shilling. So yeah, I used to be smarter. Plus I use an app, Sunwave, so I can see how much I'm moving. So what I do is in the beginning of the month, my expenses, I'll move that from my dollars to shillings and then I try and leave that account and leave it alone. <laughs> uh, other question, where do you live? I live in Kampala. <laughs> and on that note oh someone said i want to marry you are you single but i have no money john i think your priorities need to be on making money and securing for securing your future for your family and not on me <laughs> but thank you and on that note all i gotta say is thank you guys so much for tuning into this live this has been a good laugh this is nice um definitely we'll do this again like i said i think the first week of each month i can't promise monday just in case like i'm creating content summer or something so what i will say is um definitely um just tune in tune in it'll be first week of the month every month and the patreon i'll do weekly no problem i i don't mind i like live it's dope i just want to make sure i have enough topics uh someone asked a really good question though how did you go about racism in Canada? I'm going to save that for the next live. I think that'll be actually a great live. Maybe talk about racism here versus racism. Um, or what would be like my issue of racism in Uganda, if that makes sense. It's not that it's racism. Another ism. Okay. <laughs> that's a good way to say it. Isms in Uganda versus racism in Canada. Because I think that's very important. Other than that, let's save that for the next live. Um, great question. Annaline. Annaline DIY. Um, uh, and on that note, thank you guys so, so much for watching and please watch my, or sorry, my video with Luel. It goes up at nine, so in 49 minutes. I know guys, I'm taking up all your internet and your time today, but it's a really dope video. Former NBA player investing in Uganda. He's not even Ugandan. He's South Sudanese. Talked a little bit about his story. Loved it. I love successful people coming back. I'm like, good. You're not just there talking shit about Africa, but you're not making a difference. Like, come and do something, you know? And he really did that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, oh, and also merch, 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 merch store. We are live. You guys can see it in the videos. Everything that I mentioned is always um, in the description box. So the merch store is there. Patreon link is there. PayPal for all y'all who want to bless my team and keep this content going because it ain't cheap, y'all, to be moving around and filming. It ain't cheap. So, yeah, love y'all. Love y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next live. Bye. Where's the off button? Here we are. <laughs>